and welcome to Library Drawing Party. Today we're going to be trying a graphic novel style drawing these koi fish. To get started, we're going to go straight into using our black ink marker. You're going to want a thick black ink marker, but it doesn't matter if it's permanent or not. I'm actually using a dry erase marker, so really whatever you have on hand. We're going to start right here with this koi fish's mouth. So there's a circle, it's almost like a half circle with a straight edge. Now we don't want to fill in it completely with black because we want to show we want to show the shadow, but we don't want to block all of the color. So just leave some gaps in between. Then there's this piece right here. And then another piece of the mouth. And then we have a line going around the edge of the mouth. And then another line above it. And then the bottom of the mouth. If you're more comfortable using your number two pencil for this, you can go ahead and start and then just use your black felt tip marker to go over it. And then I want to do the eye. So there's an eye about here, which is just a straight line, a half circle. And then there's another one on the other side. Half circle going the other way. Then there's this triangular shape here. And it's almost like a nose. We're adding in some texture. We don't want this to be as dark as our eyes and our mouth. So this part, you can apply a really light or thin line. And then let's connect the mouth to the lines. And let's draw this fin. And then there's a piece here. And then it comes up. No two fish in nature will look exactly the same. I made my head a little bit bigger than I did in the sample drawing. So I'm not getting all of the body that I was here, but I like how it looks, so I'm going to go with it. So I started working on the mouth down here. Same thing, you want to draw the inside first, but we'll leave some white. 
so the yellow can show through. And we'll draw around it. Start to draw in the eye. And the other eye in my sample drawing got covered by this fish, but because I moved this fish up a little bit in this drawing, you can see it a bit more here. And there's another fish over the side. Let's put in some texture lines. And some of this is also the ripples from the water. I'm almost drawing dotted lines here. And then let's work on this fish down at the bottom. So again, we'll start with the mouth. This mouth, it almost looks like a clam shell. And the lip. Bottom lip. And an eyeball here. Kind of blends in with the background. Add some texture lines. Top of the mouth. And the other eyeball. Okay, then we'll add some texture lines over here to suggest this fish. And some up here. Then let's have a line coming down. You can see that this is the edge of the koi pond. And you can draw in some more water. Water will be going every direction, so you want the curly cues to go every which way. Can even go inside some of the fish. And create that movement. Once you're happy with your line drawing, you can start to work on the colors. The easiest thing is the edge of the koi pond. This is just gray, so you can go ahead and color in diagonal gray lines. And then let's do the yellow fish first. I'm just going to do a yellow base coat. We can add in some more highlights and shadows as we go along. Because they're in the water, the colors of the fish blend into the water. But we do want to get these vibrant colors. And that's so typical of graphic novel style art. Bright colors. 
We have our second yellow fish in the back over here. Let's take our orange and start to define the orange fish. The mouths have the most contrast because the inner mouth is that dark black. But the edge of the mouth has a lot of white in it. So when you're coloring your base coat in, you want to keep this pretty light to help with the contrast. And then some of the orange is going to bleed out. Because we don't want to define the edges since they're in the water. And then there's going to be a fish over here, which the fish is somewhat white and somewhat orange. So we want to leave some white spots. And then this fish has a pretty definitive pattern on it. You can create whatever pattern you'd like. You can use any color. Koi fish have reds, yellows, oranges, blacks, greens, you name it. They have so many different colors. Which is why they're fun fish for colored pencil drawings. So we get to really play with some bold colors. Let's have some orange by the eyeball. Put some orange by this texture line. I'm going to put a light base coat of orange for a little bit more visual interest. And then this up here is hinting at a white and blue fish. So I'm using a light blue to hint at those blue spots. Let's take our red and start to give those highlights and shadows to our orange fish. This kind of reminds me of a dragon, the fiery tones of a dragon. Take some of the yellow, bring some of those highlights in. And let's take our orange and color over it all, blend it in. So really make this koi fish pop. Let's add in some orange to our yellow fish. And 
Let's use the yellow to blend it in. Once you're satisfied with your fish, let's take that dark blue and start to put in the color for the water. You want the water to blend into the fish. So it's hard to tell where the fish ends and where the water begins. Just like with a real fish, when you're looking at it, you see the water, but you also see the fish underneath. So we don't want to color the whole thing with the blue because then it'll muddy these beautiful vibrant tones that we created. So especially around the edges of the fish, you can imagine like the fish are popping out of the water. Like they're coming up for air. So you would see the water the most around the edge of the fish. And then these fish in the background can draw over those. And then to really bring out this yellow color, you can use some purple to help give it a indigo tone in the water. It'll also be a nice contrast using complementary colors. Then we can use our dark blue to blend that in and add another layer of blue. Really bring out those dark tones. give the water some depth. And there you have it. That's our graphic novel style koi fish. We hope you enjoyed this library drawing party and we hope to see you again. We have library drawing parties every Wednesday at 7 p.m and keep being creative.